Falls all, where are you guys located? In Concord. Right up in Concord. Great place to go for the summer, take the kids and have this for lunch. Hey, uh, you. hey Chris, really quick. Thank you. This is Rachel Hill. She said, you really have coffee in the mugs. She thought they were just props. <laughs> 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 all right, Rachel Hill and also uh, Pam Sharks, you're both with uh, Hospice of Cleveland County. Thank you so much. Now we're talking about therapy dogs. Before we talk about the special things that you ladies are doing, let's talk about Samantha here. Yes, hey. Samantha. Hi, Samantha. Tell us about Samantha. Samantha is a uh, nine-and-a-half-year-old Wamaraner. Okay. And Are... she is a therapy dog, one of our therapy dogs at hospice. All right. So, and that's what makes these therapy dogs so unique because when we talk about therapy dogs we talk about helping those who um, have PTSD or some other type of um, disorder however these dogs are special they're helping with um, folks that are going through hospice let's right. talk about that well hospice um, is a, an organization it's all across America really around the world the one criteria for hospice to be a patient of hospice is that there are six months of prognosis so six these patients um, don't have much time left mm -hmm. so Times that can cause depression or anger, or, and, and there's something about an animal that can um, be connecting when maybe they aren't, don't want to be around other people, or they don't want, they maybe they haven't even responded to anybody mm -hmm. in the past months, and so, but the, but the dog walks in and they're able to open their eyes or reach out their hand to touch. Now, um, Pam, you're director of marketing for um, Hospice, uh, but you went through the training program with your dog Samantha. Why was it important for you to do that? I just saw the need. Um, a lot of our patients, um, the you know, they don't get the benefits sometimes because of the the turnover, um, and so we, maybe we don't get them coming often enough. And so I saw the need and decided when we got Samantha um, to take her through the program. Typically, a Weimaraner is not <laughs> is yeah. very high strung, so I had to really mm -hmm. work with her. She's mellowed out in her old age, but um, took her through the program. And whenever she um, puts the collar on and knows where we're going, she completely changes and is totally a different dog when we walk in the, the building and just absolutely loves it. Yeah, Samantha didn't come alone. She, she brought a couple not. of her she friends. Brought some of her friends. Yeah. Okay, so you, you, you also mentioned too, you said that um, it's, not only, it's not only good for the patients, but it's also good for the families. We have about 30 seconds. Expand on that. Mm -hmm. the, um, the patients, a lot of times, um, if they're not able to interact maybe with their, their loved one who is the patient, um, so then they, may, they, they might be really, really sad and just there's something about hugging an animal or having a dog um, come and, and just let you nuzzle them. And, and these dogs are so patient, and so um, it's very, very therapeutic. Our program is called Pets Are Therapeutic, P-A-T, yeah. PAT. And so that, they are very th therapeutic for our families. And, and something else, I, I, I <laughs> want to make sure that our morning breakers know, you're also looking for other folks right. who will go through the training with their pets. Yes. Temperament is the first key, yes. correct? Yes, and and we um, we don't train the dogs. They have already, they come to us already as therapy dogs um, trained, and then we put them through our hospice training to help them learn about the patients that the you know, population we work with, um, and then they can come on board with us. Okay, and so. where can they find more information out about how they can get their pets involved? Our website is hospicecares.cc. Um, hospice okay. All right, yeah. thank, thank, you, thank you, ladies. Thank, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you for having thank us. You, Samantha and friends. I think All right, so Chris and I'm going to send it over to you, and trust me, Chris and I are on our way over to watch this. Oh, great. Thanks. No pressure or anything. All right, Chris, thank you. All right.